How to Learn Claw Hammer Banjo Part 2. Today we're going to focus on drop thumbing technique. Uh, before we just were focusing on the claw and the basic frailing technique, claw hammer. Keeping that claw solid. Today, today all we're going to do to differentiate that is uh, we're going to add the drop thumb in there um, instead of just going back and forth from the first string to the fifth string we're going to add the second string in there with our thumb as opposed to hitting the fifth string on the and on the one and two and three and you're going to hit the second string on the and so let's do the first to the fifth string and then the first to the second string in the claw. Notice I'm just tightening the claw a little bit. I'm not plucking, I'm just tightening. Now let's go from the first to the fifth string and then the first to the third string with the thumb. Like this. Now let's alternate from 1st to 5th, 1st to 2nd, to 1st to the 3rd, like this. So you're just tightening, not plucking. If you have the claw like this, you're just shortening the claw a little bit. Popular little lick that I'm sure you'll see plenty of times in the tunes you're playing. So we got you're hammering on the first string, second fret. So it's a hammer on, then a pull off. Well, that's the first part before you add in the, the drop thumb. The drop thumb comes right after that, from the open first to the open second. The, the first finger is playing the open first, the thumb is playing the open second. So together, all of those notes are. And the last note is the third string on the second fret. played with the first finger. So from the third third string second fret to the third string open. If that makes any sense. Sounds like this. plucking banjo players and maybe next time we can learn a tune. Alright, see you soon.